I'm on a three-week expedition to try and film some of Britain's biggest and most elusive marine animals. Filming aboard the Celtic Explorer, a high-tech research vessel, the One Show Wildlife team and I have joined a 5,000 nautical mile fish survey being conducted by the Marine Institute of Ireland. And we were only a few hours into the expedition when we were treated to a close encounter with a huge pod of common dolphins. And the call went out, dolphins on the starboard bow. And I'm watching common dolphins just by the side of the boat. I'd say there's probably maybe 20 or 30 just down this side here. We're now more than 100 miles from shore, leaving us exposed to hostile weather conditions. And less than a week into our journey, things have taken a turn for the worse. Wind speed has reached 39 knots, meaning we're now sailing through a force 8 storm. It's fairly brutal out here right now. The wind's pelting my face. One minute it's all sea, the next minute it's all sky. It's nothing on a roller coaster. After a broken night's sleep, the storm has passed and the vital task of catching fish for the scientists to study can begin again. The ship's crew is made up of many experienced fishermen. Frank Kenny has been fishing these waters for most of his life. I started fishing in, on the east coast of Ireland when I was 16. And then as the fishing vessels got bigger over the years, we uh, went further afield. We went into the North Sea, Faroese Islands. It's a dangerous job though, eh? I'll always remember when I started fishing as an apprentice. The, the seamanship teacher, uh, the first day we were in, there was 21 of us. He said to us, I'm looking down at you, 21 lads, and I can guarantee you one of you will be drowned if he's all take up the fishing career. And uh, lo and behold, sadly, he was, he was right. After about three years, one of the lads was drowned. He fell off a fishing vessel. So it can be dangerous, and, and you definitely always have to be on your guard. Frank's words are put into sharp perspective by a ceremony of remembrance for the crew of a rescue helicopter who died in the line of duty just six months previously. We gather here on the stern of the Celtic Explorer to lay this wreath in memory of those who lost their lives at sea in the last 12 months. We remember in particular the crew of Rescue 116. May God bring some comfort to their families and may the souls of all those who were lost at sea rest in peace. As I return to my mission, the sea's true elemental nature as a source of both wonder and fear stays with me. And, true to form, what I see next blows me away. I'm looking at Wisso's dolphins, about twice the size of the common dolphins. Probably get up to about four metres in length. Back out in the deep water, a hundred miles from the coast of Scotland, we're finally deep enough to be in their hunting grounds. Oh, there's the head popping out. Much, much paler grey. And that's really from scarring of all the males fighting. They can almost look white in certain lights. In fact, as they age, their whole body can turn white with healed bite wounds from other rissos and scars from their main prey, the oceanic squid. This part of the North Atlantic is really coming up with the goods. After such incredible views of Risso's dolphins, I can't wait to see what we discover next.